manage landing pages and batch actions. In order to go to the list of landing pages created in your account, click manage landing pages in the main menu. You can find all landing pages on this page. You can go to the landing page creation by clicking the create a landing page button. Landings are distributed by groups indicated in the settings. You can hide the group simply by clicking the icon. In the top right corner, there is a panel with the actions icons, the ones you can do with your landing pages. Let's go step by step. View statistics. Upon clicking, you will be redirected to the statistics section for this landing page where you can see more information. In order to do it, select a landing page and click the button. Preview. Upon clicking this button, the landing page preview appears in nearby tab. Please note that in the preview mode, CTA button of the offer lead to an offer example. In order to check the redirects, you need to go through the campaign URL where the landing has been added. The next action is edit. Upon clicking on this button, you will see a pop-up with the main settings which can be edited. Landings created in the Visual or HTML AdsBridge editor can be changed in the editor. In order to do it, click Go to Landing Page Editor. After making changes in the pop-up, click Save and Close. Copy action allows you to copy a landing page with all its settings. The name of such landing page will be the same, but with copy one added to it. If you don't want to use landing pages in your campaigns anymore, you can move them to archive. In order to do it, choose a landing page and click the button Move to archive. Please note that you can move to archive only those landing pages which are not added to the campaigns. In other words, before archiving a landing page, it needs to be deleted from all campaigns where it was added. In order to look through all archived landing pages, click the Archive button. Upon clicking, a pop-up with the list of all archived landing pages will appear. For convenience while searching, you can use filters by ID and by name. Archived landing pages can be restored and used again. In order to do it, select Necessary landing pages and click Restore. Click Export to export statistics that has already been displayed on the page into CSV file. Click Change table to edit the display table. In the side menu, choose a currency that will be used to display data and necessary columns. Upon clicking the Filters button, you will see a side menu where you can edit the view of the statistics. Let's look through all available filters. Time zone the time zone in which you would like your statistics to be displayed. Period. Here you can choose the time period you would like to see displayed in the statistics. Then Group. In the drop-down list of this option, you can select a group of landing pages for which you would like to see statistics. By default, all groups are chosen. In the drop-down list, you can select landing pages of a certain language group to see the statistics for them. Vertical. In the drop-down list of this option, you can select the vertical of landing pages on which you would like to see the statistics. With traffic. If you choose Yes, the table will display all landing pages that have at least one click for the specified period. If you tick No, then the table will display all landing pages that didn't receive any clicks for the specified period. You can view LP statistics with or without traffic at the same time by ticking both boxes. Traffic type. Here you can select the LP type, web or web, for a statistics display. If you tick both boxes, you can view statistics for all landing pages. View events. By selecting test, the table will display only test events, events which were made by the test campaign link. Non-test, only non-test events. You can view statistics by test on non-test events at the same time if you tick boss boxes.
You can filter information by certain values in several columns. In order to do it, you need to click the filter icon near the name of the column, select the value and click apply. In the columns with numeric values such as visits, clicks, conversions, CTR, etc., you can filter by such conditions as equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal to. Upon clicking the arrow icon near the name of the column, values will be sorted alphabetically or by number, downwards or upwards. Upon clicking on the landing page with the right mouse button, you will see the menu with all the actions we've discussed before. Let's move on to batch actions with landing pages. Click batch actions in the main menu. On this page, you can delete or replace a chosen landing page in all or several campaigns and flows. For that, select the necessary action, replace or delete landing page. In order to replace a landing page, you need to replace in the list edit landing pages. In the second list replace two, you need to choose a landing page that will be added instead of chosen one. Please note that you can choose only one landing page in each list. In order to delete a landing page, please choose an option Delete Landing Page. From the list Landing Pages to Delete, select a landing page you would like to delete. In the list the landing will be deleted in, you can see the list of all campaigns and flows, included archived ones, to which the selected landing page was added. With the help of this function, you can delete multi-offer landing pages. All your changes will be displayed in, in the task list section, where you can download the CSV file with all your amendments, which landing page was replaced or deleted in what campaign and flow, or the reason why the requested action wasn't performed.